英文学科4回生の松尾先生のゼミに所属しています、高取舞です。私の卒論のテーマは、えっと、子供、バイリンガル、日本語と英語のバイリンガルの子供、6歳ぐらいの子供の、えっと、英語の L と R の発音であったり、TH の発音の正確性についてを大学生と比較して、えっと、データを集めました。Hello, my name is Mai, and I will be giving a presentation about my graduation thesis. And I focused on the influence of critical period on the second language acquisition of non native sounds with a specific emphasis on L and R and TA sounds. Here are my contents, and first of all, I will be introducing what bilingual means. And there are two Different understandings of it, and one is that someone who is capable of using two languages, and the other is to believe that bilingual is someone who has minimal competence in only one of the four language skills. And this is my question、um, Do bilingual children aged around six can pronounce L2 sounds such as L and R and TH sounds correctly? And I made These hypotheses for my question, and one is that bilingual children aged six can pronounce L2 sounds with little mistakes, and the other is to believe that L and R sounds are more likely to be, pronoun to be pronounced correctly than TH sounds. This is based on my own experience. And next, I will be explaining about my study in details. So, first, this is my this, this slide shows the method of the study.、Um, I asked participants to read aloud a story, and then I made recordings of them and sent them to native speakers of English. And those native speakers are、um, I had two native speakers of English, and they were both my friends, and one is British, and the other was American. And then I asked them to rate on a scale of one to five, and then one is the least, and then five is the best. And next, this,、um, this shows the participants of the study. And I had six children and three university students involved. And children were around the age of five to six, and they were, all, they were four boys and two girls. And they were born and raised in Japan but go to an international school, so they are considered to be bilingual. And there were three university students aged around 20 to 21, and they were all female. And they did not have experience of studying abroad. And here is the words used in a story. So I made up a story and then I asked participants to read it aloud. and I Included those sounds, L sounds, R sounds, and voiceless dental fricative and voiced dental fricative. So, those two are the two types of different TH sounds. And this is the example of the story. Here's, the, here's, my, here's a part of the story. And then next, I will be explaining what the results were. This graph shows the average score for each participant. And there's red squared、um, five participants. They were all children, and those three, three were the university students. And as you can see,、um, children scored higher than university students on average. And next, this shows the average scores for both age g r o u p And as you can see, children scored. Um, higher than university students by 0.3. And when compared with my hypothesis,、um, children aged six pronounced L2 sounds with little mistakes. And I thought L and R sounds are more likely to be pronounced correctly than TA sounds, but in fact, there was no clear difference found for both age groups. 
and overall results is that children score higher when compared with university students and there was no clear difference found between proficiency level of L and L and R sounds and TA sounds. And here's the additional results. Uh, so if you have time, I would be happy if you can look at these two. Thank you for listening. なんか卒論大変だっていうのはあの頭の中では分かってたんですけど実際に自分でその研究の内容を考えてとか研究のあの参加参加してくださる方に協力していただいてとかそういうのが結構思っていた以上に大変ででもそのデータっていうのがその自